Hi there, Thack from Thack Ironworks. We are outside today on a brisk morning. It is just above freezing, but it's nice and sunny out. Um, I have some refinishing to do on this copper sink here. We recently made the sink and then there was some um, issues where they wanted us to change things. So we had to strip the whole thing down, rework it, and now we are refinishing this thing. Um, what they wanted on was a heated look, uh, um, heated copper look, the torched finish. Um, but we didn't want to actually heat this thing because it's so subject to warping. We knew that it would be very problematic where we would end up potato chipping the whole thing. So we wanted to keep it nice and square. So um, I wanted to find something that I could put a patina on that would allow us to get that finish, but still not actually heat it up. So I reached out to the guys at Sculpt Nouveau and they suggested this product, which is called Torch. And we get what's like a torch finish on copper um, and so that's what we're gonna, gonna do right now and uh, I've done this once before I'm not an expert on this product by any means but let's just dive right into it and see what happens all right here we go so looking for a model finish which is good because this stuff is hard to get a consistency on with such a weird shape here and even though they call this a slow acting chemical I think it reacts very quickly. We don't really have a whole lot of time to work with here. So what I'm trying to do is blend the new copper in with the already uh, patinaed copper. And I just find it's good to spray this on and then use a brush in a stippling fashion to kind of distribute it and not create any streaks. Moving fast, time is of the essence here. Okay, so I've got it on now. I'm just kind of moving things around and I'm watching it come in. I'm watching my two corners, which were fresh copper there. I'm trying to get things to diffuse and blend together. I think it's come in finely now. Um, the bottle tells you you should uh, arrest the process when you start seeing the blue uh, come in, the purple colors, you wanna uh, stop it before it goes too far. I find once you freeze it in, it tends to go a little bit farther than um, what you want. So it's it, it's kind of a bit of a guessing game to try to get everything to balance out. Uh, luckily, we're going for a very modeled finish anyway, so I, I'm looking for uh, consistent inconsistency. That's always kind of my goal. Now I found while it's still wet to do a light, I've got like a fine steel wool here just to try to blend some of the anomalies out, just kind of transition things, diffuse it out. So I'm not taking too much off. Also kind of highlighting the edges too, just give it kind of an aged look. I find doing this wet has, diffuses it much nicer. It's a less scratchy, abrupt transition. One thing I like about doing sinks is they tend to be self-draining. It's quite nice. Okay, I think we're looking good now. Just enough anomalies, enough uh, irregularities to make everything look very beautiful. Just one more rinse and then we'll let it dry off. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, then you probably noticed I use uh, Sculpt Nouveau products um, oftentimes for the finishing of bronze or copper or brass, that sort of thing. Um, to create a patina, so I've been using their stuff, and I, I made a joke a few months back in one of the videos that Sculpt Nouveau should be sponsoring me because I'm such a fan of their products. Well, guess what? We reached out to them, and they said, yeah, sure, we'll sponsor you. So this video is being sponsored by Sculpt Nouveau. This one, then this video specifically, I'm just kind of showing 
um, a few of their products um, for a very specific use that I happen to be building this sink, which is not a video that you got to see me build the sink. It was actually my guy fish that did it, but we were doing the patina on it. And I thought it would be just kind of cool to show um, some of their products in action and how I'm using them. So I hope this is fun for you. Um, so we did the patina outside, everything was rinsed, we let it dry off, we brought it into the warmth now. Everything is warm and bone dry. Now what I'm going to do is seal this. Because this is a sink, it needs to stand up to quite a bit of abuse. Um, one of the nice things about Sculpt Nouveau is they are a small company and I call them from time to time and say, look, this is my situation, this is what I'm doing any suggestions and they're small enough and knowledgeable enough because the few people that work there know what the product does um, and they often give me really good advice as to you know how to go about it or what product to actually use for what specific application I'm doing so there you go that's a plug one hell of a plug for Sculpt Nouveau check them out people they're good so what I'm gonna do is their Everclear um, finish here this is urethane really uh, durable stuff and this can is kind of cool. It's got, it's a two-part chamber, um, which when you push this down, they mix together. It's a catalyst, shake this up, and then you spray it like any normal spray-on thing. I suppose I could stop and actually read the instructions. Why don't we just shut off the camera? Okay, so when all else fails, read the instructions. So I'm a typical guy, I did not do that. So I've got to shake this for two minutes, which is a long time actually. And uh, after I do that, then I put it upside down and push down with the red button. But I still got at least a minute of more of shaking to go. Please stand by. So with this Everclear stuff, once you get the activator, the catalyst, whatever that is, in place, this can's got a, a, a life of about six hours. So you wanna do all your coats with that and then the can is useless. So you wanna make sure that um, you've got time enough to be able to use this can up. You can't come back the next day and use it up. But this stuff is really durable. Uh, like I said, this sink was a, a second pass on this. We had to strip this stuff down and it was almost impossible to get off of. Um, a really durable coating. So that's my little plug for, for these two products here, the Torch, um, Sculpt Nouveau Torch. Check out their website and, and look at these products. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos where I'll be using um, the Antique Black is the one that I generally use for using patinas and stuff like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, kind of a different uh, take on the kind of stuff. I do a lot of finishing work behind the scenes and, and things like that. Thought you guys might be a little curious as to what is involved with that. So please stay tuned for our next exciting video coming up soon. Um, and like, subscribe, uh, Patreon, you know, all the stuff you need to do. So that's it for me. Back out. See ya!